Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Oakley here, and this is the free online course, Create a Gorgeous Photography Website with Smug Mug in 90 Minutes. Welcome to step six. In this step, we're going to be cleaning up our Smug Mug homepage and creating an awesome slideshow. So make sure you're starting in your owner view, logged into your site. And under homepage layout, up in the top right corner, there's a bunch of options here. And I could go ahead and uh, add things to my home page just by clicking, selecting these different options. And that's great that there's options, but we don't need all these options. Um, it, well, but before I get rid of all these things, I can show you just how quick and easy it is to, to make changes to this. So if I want to, to move um, this photo timeline down, I can press the move down, it switches, and I keep moving it down. So it's really fancy. Smugbunk's done great work on um, allowing you to customize your home page how you want it. But uh, like I've said over and over, I want this site to be very, very clean. So I'm going to hide a whole bunch of things. In fact, I'm going to hide everything <laughs> for now. So I'm going to hide galleries and top keywords. Hide everything. So there, it's blank. The only thing I'm going to select is slideshow. And what I want to do is adjust slideshow settings. Now, photos are appearing on my site because this is already, um, I had already uploaded my portfolio or set my slideshow settings to point to my portfolio gallery. Yours won't do that by default, but um, we'll get you there soon. So in slideshow settings, go to source, and in this case, we do want to point to a gallery, and this uh, gallery setting will pop up. What gallery do you want? Well, you want to point to your portfolio. I leave the default height at 500. Click to image, I set yes to that. So if somebody sees an image in the slideshow and they want to go see it in the gallery, then I might as well just let them click and go to it. Captions, I say no because we don't have any captions for these photos. Show thumbnails, no, just makes it more cluttered. Auto start, yep. Speed, I select speed is fast um, because I'd find fast isn't all that fast actually. Show speed, no, I don't want somebody to have to change the speed. Page style, black or white, I don't think matters, <laughs> so I just leave it as black. Show buttons, uh, no, I don't want to show buttons. Random start, yes, I do want it to start randomly. And randomize the photos as they go through, yes, I think that's a good idea as well. The splash URL, I believe the splash URL is, um, you can tell the slideshow to always um, show a certain photo before the slideshow starts. I've just left that as blank, but you can play around with it. Splash delay and crossfade speed, I think I'd leave as default, which is zero for splash delay and 350 milliseconds for crossfade speed. Again, all these are really easy to play around with, but this just uh, works for me. So I click save and there we go. There's our slideshow. So now when I go into visitor view, it pops up and it looks great. So we're almost done with this tutorial and the next step is going to be creating the work with me page. So make sure you check out the next video.